Welcome back to another vlog everyone. Today we're having a day off and what better to do on a day off than look around Chateau for sale. And we thought we'd bring you along with us. The reason we're doing this vlog is because we get so many people asking us about property uh, in France, property in the area, and uh, we thought it'd be quite a nice uh, visit. We actually have a friend called Valerie, and she's going to show us around. She's an agent, and, uh, and yeah, it should be a really, really interesting vlog. So we've arrived at the chateau. It's just round the corner from all the big Pezac Leonion wine chateau. It's in a town called Sestas, and it's been fully renovated by an architect. So, there should not be a stone out of place. Okay, I have to turn the camera, guys. That looks spectacular. It's a foggy day. But wow, what a beautiful place. That's it, guys. We're here. Yeah, we've just arrived and uh, Valerie's waiting for us. Bonjour, Valerie. Hello, Edouard. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Valerie, in introduce yourselves to our viewers, please. Sure. Hello, uh, my name is Valerie Lefort and I'm a luxury realtor in Bordeaux. Come in. Come in, Edouard. keep the heat in. So this is the entrance hall. Um, maybe the decor isn't to everyone's taste with the wildlife as such, but um, it is absolutely stunning. Look at the mouldings, look at the stone and uh, the views. Okay, it's a sombre winter's day, but it's absolutely stunning. Very, very light and airy this place. Anna, watch out, rat, rat! All of them got the cheeky thing. <laughs> this meter is a hiding place. Yeah, I think that's the owner's little joke, that, and I've stolen it off them. That's cute. Yeah. The owners are actually very artistic, aren't they? Yes. Um, they you, are. You'll gather that as we go around, um, but also it's been renovated by an architect as well, isn't it? Yes, it has. But not just that, the owner, the lady, Mm -hmm. She has made most of the chandeliers. Wow. So this is a great reception room, front to back. So you've got your views at the front, with obviously the parkland. The views at the back, again, with parkland. And you've kind of got these original features that are kept, the kind of moulding, the fireplace and um, not over the top furniture. You know, it's letting the it, it's letting the, the the chateau speak for itself and, and show its beauty. As per usual with the chateau this size, um, it's possible to buy some of the furniture with the property. Um, and I think it's so well um, appointed, I think it'd be a shame not to buy some of the furniture if you're looking at buying this place. Or all the furniture. Yeah.
let's go through to the downstairs bedroom and show you something a little bit extraordinary after that bedroom. So beautifully appointed bedroom and of course all bedrooms are en suite so there's an en suite bed bathroom. Now coming through to the extraordinary bit, it has an elevator. And Which is something unusual for a chateau. Yeah, of course. So we've got the uh, sous-sol, so the uh, underground areas in the chateau. We're going to go down there in a bit. But this goes all the way right to the roof. And it has some spectacular views at the top, doesn't it, Anna? It does. It definitely does. And there's a story with this lift, because it's the road from Stuttgart passing by Lyon and to Bordeaux. There's a great flow in this house. We're going to go through into the dining room, which kind of all comes back around into the kitchen and, and, and back around into the living area. Wow. I love the table. Nice. The chairs go really well with it. But that chandelier is spectacular. I think they might have actually ma made that chandelier themselves, Anna. I, yes, the, the lady, the owner, she definitely did make it herself. It's giving me ideas. <laughs> That's a good thing. So this is a very French kitchen, isn't it? Mama? Oh yes, it is. Obviously, yes. What were you saying about the fireplaces? You can cook inside, yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Imagine Christmas yes. dinner there. Very nice, mm. yeah. I love the worktops. I think they're, they're really different. Different in a good way. Um, but I think there's a barbecue area outside as well. Um, which again is essential in France, I think. And the lady has made another chandelier. Well, she's in competition with us, isn't she? I think it might be a little nicer than what we did, Anna. Well, it's, it's good that it is nice, and that means there's room for improvement. Yeah. Wow. That is beautiful. The kitchen here, it's like you feel like you're outside with open windows, and you can see everything. You can see the the grounds on this side, you can see over there, and that's where is the barbecue area you told me. Yeah, yeah, the barbecue area is through there. Um, again, it's looking a little sombre because it's winter time, but you've got to have a bit of imagination for how it'll look in summer. It's, I bet it's amazing. Mm. What's that there? I don't know, I'm curious, let's have a look. Ah. It's a secret little staircase. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, look. That is so cute. I love it. Oh, then you go to the elevator, so it's the other side of the house. Okay, let's follow Valerie, because she's over here. And... Yeah, come here. <gasps> nice wow. palier. That chandelier. Wow. Valerie saying we could buy furniture. Yes, <laughs> you can. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. No, no, Anna, you have to buy the house to buy the furniture. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, at least I can admire the chandelier. Shall we go to the bedroom? Yes. Here's that secret staircase. Valerie say dressing. No, no, Anna, they, they, those don't exist in Chateau. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Yes. It's like a, more than a dressing, it's like a shop. Do you have dressing envy? I do have dressing envy. This is spectacular. And obviously another chandelier. And look at all these 
dresses and hats. Wow, that dress over there, absolutely stunning. This lady has amazing taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the old materials. I mean, maybe not all, but look at all the materials. Yeah. She's an artist, obviously, so amazing. Can we get out of a dressing and get in a bedroom? Okay then. Wow. Who wouldn't want to wake up in a bedroom like this? I don't know, but I definitely do. The tapestries, the stones, the details on the walls and the ceiling. Before we go out on the balcony, shall we show you the bathroom? Sounds good. And they literally are bathrooms because I think most of them have baths in, don't they? Yes, they do. Okay, there's a shower as well, just in case. Double, double points. and the views. Wow, so you can just, thank you Valerie, you can just open the window in the front windows and you have your own personal balcony. Amazing. You like it, Edouard? Yes. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, this is, this is what 4.2 million gets you? Exactly, yes. But it's furnished, remember? Yeah. This is stunning. Yeah, it is, of course, a high-end mm. chateau and high-end finish. And so 4.2 million, if you've got that kind of money, I think it's not bad, really. It's amazing. I mean, the finish and the detailing gone into this chateau is mm. out. I mean, I can't even believe it. Like, it's, it's underfloor heating. It is a self-sufficient chateau, which means they have put solar panels, mm -hmm. which produce electricity, which pays for the upkeep of the chateau. Also, though, they've got geothermal um, heating, so everywhere is um, heated underfloor. Of course, it's a chateau, so in summer you shouldn't need air conditioning. Um, but yeah, that's real bonus, especially in this day and age, to have that geothermal heating. It's like top notch. Let's have a little peek in a few of the other bedrooms, just very quickly, and then we've got the cellars to show you, which again are out of this world. Do I look enlightened, Anna? You look amazing under that chandelier. As it stands today, there are four ensuite bedrooms, um, plus the attic, but it lends itself so well to having more bedrooms. Of course, the office space could be turned into another bedroom, and the attic could be split up. Let's have a little look at these last couple of bedrooms and the attic. I have a bit more chandelier envy here, but the other one stole the show. Look at this Ciel de Lully, amazing. Obviously, its own bath, sink. The next bathroom, obviously that's the toilet there, but look at this. And now the chandelier, amazing. Sink area, the bath there. Another beautiful fireplace. And look at this. So this is where the towers are. And imagine getting ready here. How beautiful is this area? Anna, let's go up to one of our favourite spots. So yeah. cosy up here. It looks amazing and so light. Nothing is lit up here. And look at the light through that sunroof. I mean, is it the sunroof? Velux. Velux. And you can, let's see if this one, oh, the little lights on the wall. I just turned something on. It's actually the lights in the stairwell. Yeah. yeah. Very cute. 
So we're in the, the attic, which is like no other attic I've ever seen. Yeah, it's so, uh, there's not a thing out of place really, is there? No. Although it's her atelier, so where she works as well. There's a bedroom here. And just look. That little table there. It's just perfect. It you know, the detail just to have that table there is just brilliant. And that chair. Love the stripes. And here's where the lift comes to. Oh, so you can reach every level with the mm -hmm. lift. That's amazing. I knew it came until the level below, but I didn't know it was coming till here. And look at the spikes on top of the uh, towers, sorry. <clears throat> the, even the spikes are artistic and ornate. Oh, this is stunning. I'd love to be able to see the roof. And on this side, we can see some of the solar panels that are just for here, which is amazing. They're just for heating the uh, hot water. Oh, nice. Beautiful. I mean, there's nothing that isn't really cute here. Oh, look at this. The bathroom for this two bedroom. It's funny. She has a kind of doll's Dolls house, house, but they've done a real house. <laughs> we need the doll's house. I think that the lady doing all these chandeliers, because like she's working all the well, she's working all the time. She's they live in Germany, but it is impressive. Like she paints. Look at that there. And like look at these. She's so talented. I love it. I mean, I love the place as much as I love. The Pe taste yeah. of what, I mean, this lady and the gentleman and what they've done with the place. Let's go down to the cellars. Shall we go to the cave? Yes, let's go. whole surface of the house, I think, isn't it? Yes, it is. Fireplace down in the basement, just in case. <laughs> oh, look. It's a cold day. And we've been, we were looking at those at the top. This is obviously the old one. Oh, so they put the fancy <clears throat> ones. Well, no, the, this is probably just a bit too far gone, but they've taken inspiration and instead of kind of these little tulipy bells, they used uh, nice big ornate flowers up there this time. I can see they like wine though. They got good taste. Yes. Right? Let's go through to the caves. So, oh wow, look. Look at all the wine. It's great. Okay, well, I'll see you later, Valerie. Yeah, sure. Anna, let's get, let's get some <laughs> bottles out, Bye. get them open. <laughs> take Valerie, I have to do the work. <laughs> wow, it's a great little cave here. It is. It is. They like their wine and their champagne, which is really good. Yeah. And I think there's more here. There's a tool area through here, and I think further on, we've got the geothermal kind of hub as such. Look at this, just another room down here full of really nice bottles and jars. But there's a reason why this room is here. Well, it's the security room. It's amazing. I yeah. mean, it's like foolproof. Nobody's getting past this security system. Let's have a quick look at the geothermal setup. And it's a bit noisy. And um, the uh, vacuum cleaner. So they have these pipes go all over the house and you can hoover up without having the hoover so it's one of those uh, in the wall oh my goodness i want one of them can that be my christmas present one day yeah i'll just completely redo our whole house as your christmas presents get those in the wall 
Okay, let's have a look at one last thing, and that is the elevator. It's actually future-proofed because it's uh, everything everywhere in the house is accessible, even if you're in a wheelchair. Which is something well mm. that is exceptional for a chateau, let uh, alone for a building. Even yeah. most buildings in Bordeaux don't even have no. lifts, let alone the lift that can have a wheelchair. Stop it with the wine. See you later, guys. I can't go without seeing this engineering feat over here, Anna. Let's go have a look. It's actually a water pump, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's been turned off for the time being, but it still works and uh, I think it's from early 1900s, isn't it? Yes, it is, and it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Valerie so much for showing us around this property. Yeah, you're welcome. I know it's a dream property, I know it's a big budget, but if you are interested in this property, please click on the link in the description. Valerie will deal with everything from A to Z and she will get you the best deal out there. Merci. Merci Edouard. Okay, there's a pool with a pool house um, and that magnificent water pump. Which you, you want for Christmas. I want the chandelier yeah. and you want the water pump. Yeah, I do. It's very Mad Max. <laughs> One can dream. No, it's beautiful. You never know. You might be able to... Make one of those? Yes. I think so. No. There's double garage as well. Of course. Yes. Yeah, You're right. So this is the back of the chateau. Obviously, the owner, the lady, is an artist, so she's chosen for the windows colorful panels but they are removable they can come off easily and look at the Juliet balcony so it's the master bedroom and the views are spectacular I can just imagine this in spring summer with the forest around it's amazing it doesn't look much on this winter's day but wow I can just picture it and obviously there we have the little pool house area look at the garden and the fountain and the feature obviously now it's a foggy day not the best there's lights everywhere and the full place is lit up at night time it's a shame we can't see it but our tour is ending here and i want to show you the front of the chateau i mean even in winter with the color of the stone it is looking amazing and obviously the owner has made another little feature on that plant absolutely beautiful i love how perfect the stone is looking and the color is amazing and the little clock at the top which isn't right but how sweet is that if you've enjoyed today's vlog don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe and ring that bell so part of the house, as you come in, there are two buildings. One just over here. We'll only have a quick sneaky peek, but not further. And this stunning one. I mean, look at that. It looks like a chalet. Absolutely stunning. I love how cute it is. Even the staircase going upstairs. It is so adorable. And this beautiful chateau has 5.4 hectares of land and you can just see the chateau just there all beautifully hidden by the trees and the fog